All right, so talking about um, Dar's defense. This first part came from uh, my coach, Robert Drysdale. So when we're here and we're face down and they throw in the Dar's, one of the big concepts is in order to progress, they need to put this right hip on the mat. So normally they'll do that by torquing your head and dropping you down. So uh, what Rob taught one time when he was here was basically using like a skydiver posture to lift your head and then using this right elbow to plant on the mat so you can't get turned. So as I get locked up, I drop out and plant this elbow heavy, lift my head, lift my thumbs up like I'm skydiving. Now, as my opponent tries to torque me over, this elbow is really strong in the mat. So I can keep lifting my head and knocking through. And then even if we're all the way in a locked dars, this still is really good. So they, they try to knock me down, they try to twist me over, and I'm in a very strong position defensively. So, cool, that's awesome. I've used that in a lot of matches. I've used that in a lot of different contexts. And it can make finishing a top-down darts very difficult. Um, however, there's a lot of guys who are shooting like this sliding darts from underneath. So when we're here, boom, they'll drop that right hip to the mat and roll through it. Right? And then a lot of times they'll finish from right here. So a lot of what people talk about in defending this style of darts is that as they shoot, I'll, I'll swing my elbow across to the other side. Um, so my elbow just hopped over the body and that's very successful. Once again, this is something that I've done in competition successfully is, is hop over that darts attack. However, there's also times in training where my elbow gets caught. And I was just watching that uh, Cade Rutolo versus Ethan match and uh, Ethan got caught in the same thing and was trying to pop his elbow out so he could cross and Cade just kept the pressure really nice. And I, I've felt that same feeling where I know I'm trying to do the right thing, but I can't find the escape and I get tapped. So um, what I started wondering was, could I do this, this skydiver posture the same way in reverse? So as my opponent shoots under, now if I'm caught and I can't move this arm past, I instead turn and extend. Now I keep my body heavy on top of my opponent. And I extend, they try to squeeze down, it's very difficult to get a, a bite. This side of my neck is very open. So I'm extended, extended. So that same concept, that skydiver posture, when they shoot a darts underneath, we're just gonna use that skydiver looking up at the ceiling. So one more time, they shoot under. I try to escape this elbow and it won't pop over the rib cage. So instead I turn and extend up and I keep my body heavy on top of my opponent. I don't drop myself to the ground because then they're gonna turn up and attack. Now I gotta turn through again. But if they shoot underneath, which they can even do from right here, well, then I just keep turning with them. Strong, strong skydiver posture. So that skydiver posture that works really well belly down seems to be just as effective when we look up at the ceiling. So try it out, test it out.